Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I got another article that I want to talk about. Earl Spence Jr. Um, he, he's thinking about moving up uh, moving up on weight to another weight division. and um, But he's thinking about doing this in two more years. What do y'all guys think about this? Well, my opinion on this is... Um, um, he said... Well, he said when I was reading the article. Uh, he said... Um, I gotta finish. It's unfinished business at the uh, the Walter Wake Division where he at right now. He only got one belt. He got the IBF belt, so um, he's not done yet. So he's gonna he want he, he gonna be the undisputed uh, champion in that the weight division. Un so I can understand that. Um, but he said something about if it wasn't now. He said if it's a lot, if it's money, um, some money involved, he might jump up, jump up, jump up to another weight division. And uh, and fight the person who's you know offering the much the, the the more money. So you never know, you know. What I'm saying he said, I mean, I believe what he said to a certain extent. But when it comes to money, man, man, you never know. Your mind might change. So he said he'll go up to light middleweight and uh, middleweight, I think. And then he might to I think a hundred, I think a hundred fifty something, then a hundred six to a hundred sixty eight. So um, he might do 168. He might. He he said something about a smaller guy. If it's a smaller guy, you know what I'm saying. But um, I don't know. I mean, um, you know one thing is. Uh, I mean, he, he he gonna do his research on the guys, the guys that he um, fights in the ring at the same time. So I'm not worried about that. So, but um, he's. But the thing about it is his his friend, his close friend, which is uh, Jamel Charlo. Um, Cause Errol Smith is Walter weight, um, Jamel is middleweight, and Jamel's twin brother, who's Jamal uh, Charlo, is uh, uh, the regular middleweight. So uh, I don't know how this. Cause he's he talking about his friend Jam, uh, Jamel is somehow moving up pretty soon. I don't know when until he get until he be on the on the uh, um, until he get all the belts in uh, the middleweight division, the light middleweight division. So. Uh, cause I don't think he's gonna fight his friend. You never know. It depends on how much money people are offering these days. So, but, um, but he said he don't want. I, I guess they don't want to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I wonder how this is gonna work out. Cause his brother Jamal, uh, you know, I think he got one belt. I, I, do he got one belt? I think he got the. I think he got one belt. Canelo got one belt. Daniel Jacobs and Damian Chinko's fight for one belt. And then, um, who is that? Billy Joe, Billy Joe Sa Saunders uh, has the other belt. So it's yeah, I think I, yeah. So his brother do had I think the uh, one one belt. I think and all you know what I'm saying. So, but I wonder how this is gonna work out. Um, you know uh, how they gonna do this because somebody you know ain't there's not gonna. Be satisfied until they get all the belts in their division, and I, and that's Errol Spence and Jamel and Jamal Charlo. Um, but um, you know, but this is um, uh, I mean, this ain't no big news or nothing like that. I mean, um, you know, I'm not surprised at, at all. You know what I'm saying? But because I think I think eventually um, Errol Spence will uh, get his chance at another belt uh, next year. Uh, it might be. Uh, I don't see Errol Smith fighting Keith Thurman next year. I see him fighting um, Sean Porter, maybe. But the way they was talking about one fight next year, and that sure ain't gonna be Errol Spence. Errol Spence. Um, another thing is, uh, I think Mikey. I they talk about uh, Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia are gonna be on be on the undercard for uh, De De Dante Wilder and um, Tyson Fury. I don't know about that. It might happen next year. You know what I'm saying, and uh, I see I'm seeing Errol Spence fighting after that fight. He might fight. Um, I don't know who he, he might fight. Another person in the welterweight division. I don't know, but I, I see I seen him. I really I, I really I, I really seen him fighting Canelo. I really seen that fight happening, man. If I'm not mistaken, because I feel like you know what I'm saying, like um, um, De La Hoya. Wouldn't mind him fighting uh, Canelo Alvarez because Canelo Alvarez got a chin, man. He's got skills too. He's been in tough uh, fights. He got experience too. At the same time, he, the only thing, he, the only thing with him, his foot movement is not fluent. 
But he's been getting by, so he got one loss, and that's about Mayweather. So Floyd Mayweather. So um, and and another thing with uh, Canelo, he, he he ties out in the middle late rounds. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. It 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 it, 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 it be a pretty it be a it be a pretty interesting fight. I mean, more people might lean towards Canelo winning that fight, but I don't know, man, because because um, Errol Spence ain't no he's he ain't no he's not no punk, man. He ain't no he ain't, he he ain't no he ain't, he ain't weak either. He's a strong puncher, man. He goes to the body a lot too. At the same time, he like the he can fight you outside and inside. He's not a slick fighter, of course, but you know his his foot movement is is okay. I think his foot movement, I think his foot movement to me is better than Canelo's. Just a little bit, I would say. You know what I'm saying? But but I would like to see that fight. And I think that fight might happen next year. I think it might be Mikey Garcia. Then it might be Canelo Alvarez. I don't know. That, that depends on what Canelo Alvarez, who he has on his uh, uh, has on his plate. Who's in... Because I think... Because, you know, I forgot that Jamal is in... Is is um is is, is, is mandatory. So, but the um but the WBC, I forgot the uh, um the um his division. The, um, the people told him. I think Suleiman told him that he can uh, fight another fighter before he could uh, before he fight uh Jamal Chalo before, before he be ordered to fight Jamal Chalo, uh, Canelo Alvarez. So, um so that fight might not happen. It might happen at the end of next year, probably. We, I, I'm maybe, maybe that. But if he fight, but if he fight somebody else, that he, and I mean, I'm talking about Canelo. If Canelo fight somebody else, and then Jamal Chalo, then I don't think he's gonna be. I don't think he's gonna. He, I don't think he gonna. What would happen in that fight is gonna finish that fight, then jump to Errol Spence. That might not happen. Then now it might happen. Well, you know what? As I'm thinking, it might happen 2020. Then it might happen 2020. As I'm thinking right now, as I'm th as I'm talking. So, but you never know. It might happen next year. You never know. So, but what do y'all guys think about him? Uh, think about uh moving up on weight. You know, saying so you do you think he need to move up on weight because uh because nobody's not giving him no opportunity, or do you, do you think he just do you think he's just wasting his time at this weight division, the walk the the uh, the walk the, the weight division, and uh or do y'all think he just um do you think he's it's, it's just um. Uh, he's 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 thinking right. He needed to finish his weight division because you think he's gonna get his shot. Do y'all think he's gonna get his shot? So just leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the bell icon for new notification of new videos from me. This is JG from Above and Below the Belt.